sounds good. Okay, great. Let's get started. I'm just going to say one word. Cocklonies. Cocklonies. Cock lollies. So I'm genetically incapable of love, am I? Don't know what you're talking about. Tanya said you said I'm incapable of love. Did you or did you not say that? Right. Well, number one, right, she's taken that completely out of context. How am I incapable of love, Carl? I was with you for five years. When you got depressed and you put on all that weight, I stuck by you. You really porked out, Carl. Is that incapable of love? Don't know. And when your friend from school died, who you hardly bloody knew, by the way, who held your hand when you cried? Did I judge you? No. Is that incapable of love? Well, I don't know, Donna. It just looked like you were having a shit time. I just felt like I was always letting you down. Why? Because you used to say, you're always letting me down. I mean, Jesus, Donna, I felt like you were going to dump me from the moment we got together. Every time I said I loved you, you said thanks. So you're just going to sell it? The house we bought together. We didn't buy it together. You dumped me at the altar before we got a chance to buy it together, remember? Well, we looked at it together. We got the survey done together. Doesn't that mean... Surely that means something. I mean, one minute you're all... Oh, I understand about the kebab, and the next you're selling the house. I don't understand, Donna. What is it you want? I don't want anything, OK? I don't need anything from you at all. I'm not perfect, Carl. I know that, but the things you said about me... I would never, ever say those things about you. So you don't need to worry, because you've seen the last of me. I will never ask anything of you again. Cock lollies are, in essence, frozen ice lollies in the shape of... Of a cock? Of a cock, yes. Four flavours, three sizes, one product. This is going to be huge. I've researched this in detail. They're incredibly easy to make, incredibly cheap to produce, and once we start manufacturing them in bulk, there's something like a 400% markup. We can make these with all natural ingredients and using recycled pulps for the sticks. So it's good for you, it's good for me, and it's good for the environment as well. But look, why sit here listening to me when we can let cock lollies do the talking? As the saying goes, suck it and see. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Come on! Hang on, Don, I'm not gonna get signed! Get out of the way, Carl, he's gonna get the boss! I'm talking Mardi Gras, I'm talking gay pride, I'm talking love parade. Worldwide, we're talking over 175 gay festivals a year. And it's not just festivals, because if we can get concessions in clubs, we've got a very steady income stream. I mean, we're gonna start small, obviously, but this is just to let you know I'm serious about the potential of this. Right. But it doesn't end there. Because it's not just gays that like cock. Women like cock too. Ibiza, Magaluf, Ayanapa, I could go on. But this doesn't even scratch the surface. If I have my way in five years' time, there will not be a hen party in this country that's not sucking on one of those babies. In short, Ivor, it is my mission to turn cock lollies into a global phenomenon. I have, a, I have to say, I had no idea this was going this to be is so, brilliant. so brilliant. Yes, well done, Louise. Can we get a joke on this, Dick? Absolutely. There's a company in Birmingham. That's all they do. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. This is good. But are you up for this? This is about you, Louise. I'm investing in you as much as cock lollies. Can I invest in you, Louise? Yes, yes, you can. Absolutely. Good. I want to run this past my business partner, but that shouldn't be a problem. 
I want to get things moving on this, so shall we say seven? Too soon? Not soon enough. Seven, yes. Thank you, Ivor. I want a 50-50 split. Oh, I bet you do. But uh, we'll talk about that later. Well done. The well done you, Richard. Is that how much it was? Four, four pounds fifty, yes. Yes, it's all there. Right. If I ever, ever catch you round here stealing anyone's food again, do you understand? Then get your fucking buffs. Right, we'll probably order food a bit later, but right now just coffees, yeah? Yeah, so there'll be um, two... two <laughs> yeah, should have a minute. So, are you staying at Richard's? It's not the same without you in the house. We've run out of milk. Look, I'm really sorry for saying all that stuff about you going nowhere. It's not true, honestly. I mean, if anyone's going nowhere, well... It's Donna. Actually, what you said really helped. Made me realise I've just been treading water. I've taken the first step, Karen. I'm starting a business. Cock lollies. Yeah. I am so proud of you. I was wrong, Louise. I shouldn't have gone off with that bloke. He was a tosser. Let's get a drink. Celebrate. Just you and me, no men. No, I've got my meeting with the money man tonight. I've got to keep clear-headed. This is my big chance. Yeah, of course, of course you do. Tell you what, why don't I buy you dinner? No booze, not even in the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him give me a finger from the back was of the he? Yeah, he was giving it all that. Cheeky bastard. He wasn't doing that when you had him by the neck. <laughs> oh, well, you know. <laughs> You were great. <laughs> oh, look, sorry about all that stuff at the door. It just threw me a bit, you know? Down the house. Listen, I don't know. Whatever I said to Tony, I don't know. It's just not what I think. You're a good person. Maybe. <laughs> so you definitely settle then? Yeah, yeah, I am. It's probably for the best. <laughs> right, I'm off. Might get a kebab on my way home. <laughs> But thanks. This girl, I fucking love this one. <coughs> Louise, get up. Get up. Get up if we go to Manhattan's. Don't worry. I'm sticking to this one like glue. 